Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of my trailer collection. My name is Eve. Welcome back. And I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, and just staying at home and chilling out. So here I have 10 trailers. Uh, looks like most of these I ran the 35mm feature films for. So, um, and played I think a couple on digital. So let's take a look. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 trailers, so it will amount to 50 in this episode. So let's take a look. All right. So first trailer I have here is, move this. Let's see. Quantum of Solace. This is Daniel Craig's second uh, James Bond film. And I believe the 22nd James Bond film overall of the series. And here you go, here's the label. This was a very highly anticipated James Bond film and it did very well. It was super big, um, but it was just not a good movie. So, but it's a great trailer. It looks awesome. All right, I'll put this over here. Next one is, ooh, this is a very high valued, very rare, uh, very expensive, uh, expect, expect to pay a very top dollar for this trailer on eBay or through any other seller or collector. Uh, but this is the Spider-Man teaser trailer with the Twin Towers. I have about three of them. This is one of them. Um, let's see, I'll show you the label. Here you go. This is the very famous, infamous teaser trailer that had, uh, it had a scene which was not made for the movie. It was made for the advertisement. And uh, it featured the Twin Towers in the uh, trailer. And at the end of the trailer, you see Spider-Man flying around and it says, you know, 2002, you know, when it's coming out. Um, but when 9-11 happened, any theater that had these trailers uh, had to take any ones that were currently running at that time on any movie, any movie off the print um, and throw, throw out or just whatever dispose of any of these uh, rare trailers. Um, I saw this trailer first when we had, I was an usher, we had uh, this trailer playing and it was on Final Fantasy. I did not run this on 35, I became a projectionist a couple months later, but uh, great trailer, very high valued. Next one is Rambo from 2008. Show you the label for that. pretty cool it says John Rambo but this is this is Rambo 4 but the label has John Rambo but the, the movie's just called Rambo um, a pretty cool trailer it's good to have Rambo in 35 millimeter let's see next one is another high value trailer this is um, I have a little collection of the MCU movies on 35 millimeter I have the first phase uh, of trailers on 35 millimeter for the for the first phase one. Uh, this is Avengers, Marvel's Avengers. It's pretty cool. It has the Walt Disney logo. This is the trailer I think with the Nine Inch Nails song. And it has a little um, on the back. Rating placement right there. Uh, pretty good trailer, good to have. Um, next one is oh, another Mission Impossible 2 with the uh, label. I told you, uh, I told everybody I had duplicates of trailers. Uh, 
Next one is Watchmen. I don't have the first trailer that play, that premiered on Dark Knight, but I have the second trailer, which is still just as good. Uh, this is Watchmen. And this uh, trailer, I guess, premiered on Underworld 3. It says it right there, if you can see that. Alright. So, next one is Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven. I was in Usher when we had this. says to program this trailer on a Jet Li movie called The One. Pretty cool. All right. Next one I have is another very high-valued one that I've seen on eBay. Every time I've seen it, uh, it's always very expensive. I have, um, and I played this on digital. On I played this on, uh, you know, standard digital and digital IMAX. And this is the first James Bond movie to play using the IMAX DMR format. This is Skyfall. Let's see if you can see the label there. a much clearer label on the back. So when it says like, you know, uh, you know, Sky, the title of the movie with another movie, it usually gives you an idea of when this specific trailer, this version um, premiered uh, in cinemas and theaters. All right. Next one I have, oh, another high value one. This was a big box office flop, um, but it's it became a cult movie. It's a very interesting film that, to a, you know, a commercial film uh, that just uh, kind of reaches out mainly for like a niche market. Um, but I ran this on film, two prints of it. It was, each print was 12 reels. Uh, it's the longest movie I've ever ran, and it was the biggest box office uh, bomb that I've ever uh, experienced in the theater. And uh, and it's fun to watch in the theater too. It's Grindhouse. This came out Easter weekend, 2007. I remember nobody showed up. They're lost though, yeah. And the final trailer I have for tonight, which makes the count up to 50, is Batman Begins. This is a very short trailer, as you can see. Um, right there. Now this trailer, um, I remember it premiered on, uh, the teaser trailer premiered, premiered on a movie called The Village in the summer of 2004. Uh, this trailer premiered on Prince of Oceans uh, 12. Um, and I remember this very short trailer. I guess it was like a, like it says scope number three, but it was like a really short trailer and it was the, the one they released as the second theatrical trailer to show like actual footage of the movie. Uh, it's pretty cool, but uh, yeah, that label came off, but uh, uh, so, all right, that is uh, 10 trailers for this episode, uh, makes it 50. So thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, share, and 
and uh, be sure to hit that notification bell um, uh, to see more videos like this. And this is an 80s Die Hard production. Later everyone, bye.